Hola amigos. Hi friends. We're back in Costa Blanca after exploring this region for about two months, feeling all the mountains around us. Now we're getting ready to present to you this lovely film, going through all the mystical mountains and places we visited. Yes, and this really uh, unique place. Uh, if you explore Spain, you'll see how this place is not like any other and it's very special, very harmonious. I think that it actually makes your wishes come true and uh, it has very beautiful energies, peaceful, clean, new, but also ancient at the same time. There are so many mountains and they like, you know, look at this yeah. shore, Boom. how beautiful it's curved and how it like cleanses the energy. There is no like, there's always like wind and new, new flows. Very so, active, dynamic landscape with, yeah. or full of wonderful sunsets and sunrises as you'll see. And all these amazing places are just within 30 minutes of each other. So you can bounce back and forth between mountains and the sea within the same day. Yeah. So join us on this little adventure and enjoy the show. Yeah. Hola amigos, I'm Javier Ortiz, traveling filmmaker and drone cinematographer. And me, Margot, Silskin Music, singer, channeler, and music producer. We are back in Spain after having explored around the coast for a few months. Now we're spending a couple months in Costa Blanca, a place we found to be very mystical and somewhere I've kind of always dreamt of living at, by the sea and surrounded by mountains. Costa Blanca is a very interesting experience to feel for the first time because it's so different from the whole of Spain. Costa Blanca isn't new for me. I've been visiting for around eight years that I've been already familiar with it, but this time we decided to stay for longer, three months. So we had the uh, opportunity to explore and tap into the mysticism and high vibrations of these places. It's curious that they really feel pretty different from all other parts of Spain. It feels like a very elevated land and very calm. But the main thing is that it's all surrounded with mountains along the seaside. And very beautiful and very different mountains. I feel that Costa Blanca has an air of higher vibration to it. Like when you arrive you feel so much better. <laughs> I don't know, when you drive along from Barcelona and then you enter this highway from Valencia to Calpe and further to Altea, Benidorm and further, it's a really beautiful spot of road. It suddenly shifts and changes when you enter that zone. And it's a very majestical piece of land among Spain where the mountains just explode all around you and the quality of life I think is a little bit elevated as you were saying the air quality is really fresh the water quality is very clear very clean one thing we've been enjoying has been more living in a place and feeling it more long term rather than bouncing around from city to city especially with beautiful majestic places like this that have so much magic in them to really just stay in a place and feel your normal routine and just feeling the nature around you and seeing what kind of flow you can settle into naturally. Like for us, we were going to the beach almost every single morning to go swim or at least just be by the water, having that ritual of connecting with water and all these mountains surrounding us in Costa Blanca were really just a 30 minute drive away. So we spent a lot of time just road tripping back and forth, either for watching sunrise or watching sunset, just whenever we would feel like it, we would go hit the road and go on a little adventure every other day. Yeah, one of the best things was this bike rides that we would take, uh, surrounded by mountains. It was always such amazing views and sunny. We were enjoying the sun and still going to the sea and bathing. And it just was really enjoyable, this bike rides every day. Part of this morning routine would be to go out to the sea, either by walking or driving or mostly bike riding. And we would usually stop by to visit this swan that was always at the same spot all by itself. So we would come by to give it some love and meditate around it. One of the first places we explored were actually the, the tallest mountains from where we could see at home. Of course, that's what I was attracted to first. Let's climb the biggest thing around, yeah. 
del Parque Natural de Serra Bernia. I propose let's let's go for a little hike, a couple hours, and then I end up taking you on a five, six hour journey up rocky mountains in, in the heat. Mid, in midday sun with one bottle of water that died out less than halfway through. Oh, I was completely in a mental loop. It was hard for me to really tune in to the walk 100% because it was getting hot and yeah, I was like thirsty all the time. It was a long hike. So yeah, I definitely prefer something more chilled. I really like slow walks in places where there is more forest, I'd say. I'm not so much into climbing rocks, but yay, it was an experience. Yeah, I think after that we started to go on more slow forest hikes, enjoying everything around us at a slow pace. Now enjoy some of the cinematic FPV drone footage we filmed throughout the mountains of Serra Bernia. One of our favorite cities in the Costa Blanca area is Calpe, where you'll find the famous Ifach rock. About Ifach, it's a very emblematic mountain there in Calpe, that there is like a peak mountain on the sea, you know. This uh, mountain creates uh, clouds, it generates clouds. The energy is all the time going through. It's always like fresh energy there because there is no stagnation of air. So yeah, like I especially recommend exploring that. Hola amigos, right now I'm in Calpe filming some drone and FPV footage. Check it all out. Also in Calpe, you can find two marvelous hidden gems. 
La Muralla Roja y el Edificio Zanadu, both created by master architect Ricardo Bofil. Check out some of the cinematic footage I filmed of them with my drone. mountains of Guadales were a sweet surprise to me. This specific mountain range was a little bit different than the rest of Costa Blanca, not just large rocky mountains, but full of green nature, giving it a very Austrian feel. A super serene and peaceful paradise here, surrounded by mountains and still have the sea visible to you in the background. One of the other well-known cities in Costa Blanca is Benidorm. Known as a sort of spring break destination for the British, Benidorm offers a lot of party for tourists, but doesn't have a lot of local culture within it. Just these very tall buildings that are mostly empty, but it does have some beautiful beaches and mountains in the background as the rest of Costa Blanca. So enjoy some of this drone footage I filmed while exploring Benidorm.
throughout our time here, uh, inspired by all the nature around us, we decided to work on a big project together, creating the Voice Your Place of Power Healing Voice Course. Yeah, this is basically a holistic work through the sound and voice. You work with your mind, with your soul, with your body. You connect with your voice, you explore your sound. So this is for those who feel called to channeling, to healing uh, with voice, to just liberating their sound and feeling a place of power, an inner place of home, of love, of resource that you can connect it with or travel to through your voice, with your voice. So that's what we are recording. Uh, taking it slow because we were just like driving to some nice beautiful place picking a spot and uh, Aligning with it and recording one of the modules now at this point the course is finished and we've Published it for you all to experience yourself if you want to connect with the power of your voice and be more in tune with your flow and through the creation process of the course I technically did the course myself as well and also feel more in tune with my power, more in tune with my flow, feeling home and presence anywhere I go, being able to sound and feel my body, to connect with the places around me or just to connect with myself deeper, which comes in handy very often when you're feeling anxious or insecure to just tune back in with yourself, with your own voice and feel like you can do anything when you clear your mind and tune back in. Check out this trailer that we made for the course and we'll leave the link below for you to explore more of the program if you'd like to join along with Modigal. Your voice is your place of power. It's a place of remembering the multi-potential of your soul your own inner wisdom. I have been following my voice through everything and discovered my inner shaman and healer. My name is Margot Silskin Music. I'm inspiring to remember your voice, to remember your inner place of power. I invite you to the journey with me to discover your authentic voice to recollect all the wisdom and knowledge and experience of your soul and feel the healing power of your voice. One of these early mornings, I set out to film sunrise at Serra Helada, one of the nearby natural parks and mountain ranges to where we were living. It gets slapped by the sun every morning with this vibrant red light, and I was really stoked to film it all. Check out the drone footage I filmed here at Serra Helada for sunrise.
amigos, we just finished a hike through el park Parque Natural de la Serra Serra Gelada near our home here in Costa Blanca, just off the coast of Albir. Um, check it out. Sí, sí, sí. Hello. <laughs> That's a park that is located in close to Albir along the sea coast, and it's a beautiful walk uh, with some amazing views when you get to the top. It's an easy walk. This is Bernia, no? Yeah. Si. Sí. It's Bernia, we climbed it. We climbed it. And it was crazy. Crazy. Hard. Corre, corre. Corre, corre, corre. Yeah, not as hardcore as Serra Bernia, mm -hmm. as it has some paved roads to enjoy along the way and lots of nature -esque spots to yeah. tune into. Along the way, we also found a few different plants like lavender that Margo would pick to take home. So we had some fresh lavender around. Lavender. I'm gonna do a psycho magic act. Oh. Javier, how do you feel about Costa Blanca recently? How have you been feeling here? Like, I know that you came here to explore your Spanish roots. <laughs> came here to enjoy my time with you and yeah. that's what we've been doing. Yeah, like from the first, from the first start, how are you feeling living so long in Spain? I feel at home, it feels comfortable. For a while it's where I wanted to be and it's felt like that the entire time. Uh, this place was a little unknown to me because we didn't uh, explore it on the big road trip but I trusted you to guide me to a beautiful place that you talked about a lot and it's actually where I've kind of always wanted to be surrounded by mountains by the sea. And kind of what's like one best best thing that you love about Spain and one thing that you don't really like? It's like comida. La comida is the best thing? Yeah. Um, it's affordable and it's local and usually fresh and delicious. Mm -hmm. So we can afford to keep eating well all the time. Okay, all right. And the worst? That I have to leave after three months. <laughs> yeah. Europe doesn't let me stay more than 90 days, so I have to leave and then Part of that worst part is that I can't come back for another three months, so yeah. technically I can only spend six months out of the year here. 
Yeah. But that's okay. But that's the secret where we are going. Yeah. So. We're embracing it by continuing to travel together. Three months here, three months somewhere else, three months back here. Yeah. We keep bouncing around the world. Yeah. For me, it's kind of really like home because I've been living in Spain for more than like eight years already, I guess. So Wait. yeah, these places feel kind of like home to me. I, it's the first place where I actually spent my first month in Spain, like this land, the Costa Blanca, Alpa especially. So it's like, um, finally spending more time here, discovering like the land more and sharing it with you and then going somewhere else to explore it's very exciting i feel like i'm getting hooked by that kind of traveler's lifestyle are you ready to leave soon yes i'm actually already feeling that i'm almost like hitting the road uh, as we've been looking through places and kind of chose one but we're she not telling it yet she so, she 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 she. <coughs> yeah i'm looking forward to it to all the places for 2023. Bueno, and what's one thing you hate about Spain? Um, uh, nothing. Just that I've been here already eight years without leaving. But um, I don't hate anything, but uh, I love Spain. I think it has amazing climate and amazing culture. And yeah, it's just the the expenses of electricity and being autonomous here is very expensive. Oh yeah, it's true. It's the only thing I think. Yeah. It becomes like a good and bad thing for me because I technically don't have to deal with that too much. Yeah. But the flip side is I have to leave, but you can stay. You just have to pay a lot of taxes for crap. Yeah, the paper thing, the documents and things but I think I'll be going for my five-year residency because I don't want to lose my European residency as I'm being uh, from Russia as a Russian citizen my passport I prefer not I prefer to keep going with my European citizenship so I can always come back to Europe uh, without having to leave and without having to get a visa let's keep exploring Costa Blanca before we head out of Europe for the next big trip Costa Blanca. A lot of these mountains in Costa Blanca have their own spirit to them. The mountain you see here, Mont Go, has a wise elephant energy and spirit to it. We spent a lot of time connecting to the nature and the wisdom that these grand rock formations hold within them, inspiring Madgo a lot to host various sound journeys through Costa Blanca. The sound journeys there also were very much inspired and in connection with the mountain energies, mountain spirits there. Very powerful places in nature. The most beautiful is that along the coast you have these mountains that almost lie in different forms and faces. Some is like a bear, this one, others like a dragon and they're like endlessly these coves. It's just there like this. You don't see that in any other places. Such long, long, long mountains going into the sea. And Moraira looks like a dragon. So we filmed some parts there of you connecting with your dragon energy for Canto del Dragon and Moraira in the background. Later, we also decided to hike Moraira finally and watch the sunset together from another beautiful mountain view. We're about to get to a special place to record a series about primal codes of sound, healing voice, and just to finally check it out. I found the spot. <laughs>
We hope you enjoyed the adventures through Costa Blanca, España. Yeah. I'm sure you did. <laughs> All these mystical places we are so lucky to explore, not just once, but repeatedly going back to as it's pretty much our favorite area of Spain and just spending any amount of time here, preferably long term, so you we can feel the places, feel the spirit of every mountain and mystical seaside, cove and cala. Yeah, and listen to Canto del Dragón while you're driving around here so you get the most of it. Or any road trip. It's some great road trip music. Yeah. Um, and after this, we are getting ready to present some brand new wonderful films as we explore the other side of the world, some very tropical, jungle, mystical places that really blew us away, some very unique experiences and uh, crazy memories. So we're really excited to present those films next, so stay tuned yeah. and we'll catch you in the next one. Ciao for now. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram on, and YouTube. You can find us at Zitrovision, Sealskin Music, as well as Canto del Dragon. And check out Margo and I's Healing Voice course online, Voice Your Place of Power. And if you want to see more of Costa Blanca, you can watch our Costa Blanca drone film featuring drone footage from all the places we hiked around Costa Blanca and all the beautiful landscapes and mountains all to the sounds of Canto del Dragón. We'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now, amigos. Ciao for now. Like Jennifer Lopez, like. Mm. I'm still, I'm still Jennifer Lopez. Mm -hmm. It was my favorite singer when I was like 13. I can tell you're channeling her well. <laughs> <laughs>